guys back to another video. As many of you know, Ahsoka comes out today at like, for me, 8 p.m. So I just wanna go over my thoughts, my expectations, what I feel like the show should be, what I feel may happen if it's not what everybody wishes it would be. So let's get right into it. Uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, I've been looking forward to it ever since its announcement. But it's almost like this nervous excitement. I'm not hyped and, you know, betting everything on it. I'm, I'm tempered to be apprehensive at this point, you know. There's been so many projects that they've released that I've been, I've been excited about and, you know, stayed up to watch and watched it and been like, what is this? What is this disappointment? You know, this isn't what I expected. This isn't what I wanted. You know, I remember when Mando season three come out and I stayed up to watch the, the premiere and after watching it, I was like, what is this? I was like, what was the point of this episode? You know, it was nothing. And then the second one, I mean, and so on. I mean, after what is eight, eight episodes uh, season, maybe two of them were really good. Then even before that, you had Obi-Wan Kenobi, which I was super hyped about because, you know, that was, that's the prequel era is my favorite era. And, uh, that was even more of a letdown. So, needless to say, I'm anticipating this show, but I'm trying to be optimistic about it because, you know, you put it in your head, put that negative thought in your head, you're gonna see everything negatively. So I'm just trying to, you know, approach it neutrally. And uh, I hope it's good. I think, I think it's got a lot of potential to be good. You know, as I've said before, it kind of has to be good or they're going to be, you know, screwed. But what I'd like to see is I would like to see involvement from characters that deserve to be involved. We've already talked about Hayden Christensen and Anakin Skywalker being in it, which is 99% confirmed, right? We don't know in what means he will be in it, whether it be a force ghost, whether it'll be a flashback or whatever it may be. Um, it's pretty much confirmed he's going to be in it. As I've said before, I hope they do him justice. I hope that, you know, it isn't just some cheap uh, hologram or, you know, video recording. I hope it's a Clone Wars flashback. I hope it looks good. You know, there's been talk of Ahsoka going into the world between worlds and somehow seeing the duel on Mustafar and seeing it's one thing, but I don't think they'll be able to recreate what they recreated 18 years ago digitally, even though it was, you know, that long ago, I don't think they'll be able to re recreate that because they don't spend as much money on the, on these shows as they did, you know, a movie. So even if they were to go back and try to uh, digitally redo some of the Mustafar scenes, which I would not want them to do because it would look terrible, even, you know, almost 20 years into the future, I don't think it would look as good. So then there's that. So. We could see, you know, just replays of the film that they took and edited it into it, which would make more sense, which I would, you know, prefer as opposed to reshooting and stuff like that. Or there's been talk that we'll see the duel on Mustafar scene and then Ahsoka will somehow get involved in some multiverse timeline and she may fight and I don't want to see that shit. I mean, I'm just I'm being honest, you know, I'm being frank. I don't want to see Ahsoka get involved with anything that's already happened, with anything George has done, with anything pertaining to the six films. You know, don't insert your character here. Like, I love Ahsoka, and I, I mean, I respect Dave Filoni. You know, I love The Clone Wars. It's, you know, up there with my, you know, if it was, if I was to choose, the only things I could watch were be the six films and The Clone Wars, you know. So I love Ahsoka, and like, it's not like a hash to her, but like, as I've said, just leave the six films alone. Don't insert this into that. Don't put Ahsoka in Mustafar and fighting Anakin, but somehow like you're, 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 when you start to unravel the multiverse shit like Marvel's doing, it just creates plot holes and it just makes things convoluted and it takes away from what was already done. Uh, so yeah, at best, let us, let, you know, let us see vicariously through her the duel on Mustafar and some world between worlds weird thing, but leave her out of it. You know, I know that 
in Rebels, Ezra was the one that saved her when fighting Vader. But like, what is she going to do? Jump in there and fight with Obi-Wan against Anakin? But if that's the case, it would have been in the film, but it wasn't. Like, I don't want to see that shit. You know, if you can't, if you can't create your own good story without trying to have to use other content to support it, then it's just not going to be good, you know? Let everything that takes place in this story involve things that have already been done by the creators that are doing it, you know? Obviously, most of it's going to be involved with Rebels. So, you have all that storyline to, you know, build with. Yeah, so, I'd like to see Hayden as a Clone Wars flashback. That'd be awesome. I mean, that's like what I'm going for. I don't want to see Hayden de-aged and put on Mustafar and Ahsoka somehow getting involved. But, like, that's unnecessary. Like, Anakin would kill Ahsoka. The only reason he didn't kill Obi-Wan is because Obi-Wan trained him for 13 years and was the master of Sarisu, master of defense. You know, Ahsoka would have made no difference to Anakin's dark side betrayal than anyone else did. You know, I mean, I'm sorry, but Obi-Wan couldn't turn him back. If Padme couldn't turn him back. Ahsoka, yeah, he was important. He was like a little sister. He loved her, but she falls under the same category of just him being too far gone, too far lost in his own ways, you know? Whatever. I don't want to get into a debate about that. Anyway, reeling back a little bit, another thing I want to see is Luke Skywalker, in some facet, should be in involved in this show. You know, obviously, it'll be a de-aged Mark Hamill, and Book of Boba Fett look decent. I mean, they got the money. They can figure it out. But, you know... Harkening back to the source material, Heir to the Empire, which, you know, as I've said before, jump-started the entire EU, pretty much. Luke Skywalker was the main character. They all were. All, you know, Luke, Leo, Han, Chewie, Lando, all of them. So, if you want to use Heir to the Empire, you know, as an Easter egg, as whatever, you want to name drop it in the show, do the source material enough respect to have him involved at some point. Because for me, it wouldn't make any sense if the biggest threat to the galaxy or to the New Republic is going to be Thrawn. I mean, Thrawn is the shit. Thrawn is the most genius tactician that the Empire has probably ever had. You know, as I've said, I'm a quarter of the way through the Third Ascendancy book and I've read eight other books pertaining to him. So I have a general idea of his uh, thoughts and his motives. Yeah, him being the big bad, the big threat to the New Republic, he would really only be doing so because it would benefit him and his people. You know, spoiler warning to anybody that doesn't know, he only joined the Empire because he wanted to see whether they were to be an ally or he could uh, topple it and make it an easy prey for somebody else. His loyalties lie with his people. They always have and they always will. So his motives to stick true to the source material must be driven because he must gain power and rise up the empire so that he can assist the Chiss. You know, if that's not his motives and that's not the end goal, then it makes no sense. Because, you know, as I said, that's why he joined the empire. End of story. I mean, you can say what you will about, you know, Thrawn and Rebels, but the Thrawn that existed before and that will always be the true Thrawn exists in the expanded universe and the novels by Timothy Zahn. You know, he created him. He knows more about Thrawn than anybody does. But I digress. Make Luke Skywalker a prominent role. You know, if he's not, it'll be just to be just be disrespectful. If Thrawn is the big threat that we're facing right now, there is no reason, no way that you can explain the fact that Luke Skywalker is not going to be involved. I mean, the hero that, that toppled the Empire, that defeated uh, Darth Sidious, that redeemed Darth Vader, is going to be involved in something that is this big of a crisis to the New Republic. So, you know, those are my, those are my, I could go on a rant, those are my must, my musts. Those are the things I expect, you know, 
Do hate and Christmas injustice. Don't insert your story, your multiverse timeline shit into George's six films. Don't give us some cheap Mustafar flashback that somehow involves Ahsoka, but then in the film, which is the law, doesn't. You know, if you're gonna give us Hayden, do it right. Don't be like the Obi Wan Kenobi show and drop the ball. You know, he deserves that as fans. We deserve that. Make Luke Skywalker relevant in a prominent role at some capacity. You know, I'm not saying let him be the main character because it's not called Luke Skywalker. But at some point, do him enough respect to have him involved. Whether it be one episode, I don't know. And last, just make Thrawn consistent with his source material, you know? Make Thrawn the Thrawn we see in these books. Before we ever saw him in Rebels, you know, yes, I believe the Rebels and the live action should coincide, but, you know, Timothy Zahn has more canon books that pertain to Thrawn than he does EU, so the Thrawn in those books should match up with the one in Rebels, and the one in Rebels should match up with the live action one. That, you know, those are my three plot points. So, anyway, I'm going to get off here. I appreciate you guys watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out more videos. See ya.